The secret is to never lose track of where the... See the red dot exists at that same focal plane, so I don't have to... Yeah. And the target... Tactical Performance Center. The home of reactive shooting science. What should we see and what the vision should do in reactive shooting? Before we dive in, let's clarify a few definitions. What is a sight alignment and what is a sight picture? Sight alignment is the relationship between three points, front sight, rear sight and the shooter's eye. Sight alignment is the process of lining your sights up for both vertical and horizontal equilibrium with the line of vision. The sight picture is the relationship with four points, the target, front sight, rear sight and the shooter's eye. We can also say that the sight picture is the sight alignment superimposed on the desired area of engagement on the target. Now let's talk about eye focus. The eyes can only focus on one object at a time. We call this object the point of focus. The rest of the visual field that surrounds the point of focus is blurry. We call it peripheral vision field. We use this to obtain visual acceptability inputs. As shooters, we deal with the same phenomena when using iron sights. The point of focus can vary. Here are some examples. Slide index. Total focus on target. Front sight only focus. Focus is still more towards the target but shifted back a bit enough to obtain front sight image in the peripheral vision field. Flash sight picture. Soft focus or medium focus, the focus is somewhere between the target and the front sight. Hard focus, the focus is entirely on the front sight. As you can see from the examples that we've covered, there are infinite possibilities of the point of focus. The closer or bigger the target, the less detailed sight alignment we need to see or respectively less focus on the sights is required. At the closer distances ranging from 3 to 7 yards, even if the front sight is screwed slightly left or right or up and down, a good center hit can still be achieved as long as the shooter has a decent trigger pull and does not push the handgun off target in anticipation of the recoil. Because we're talking about the reactive shooting, and in a reactive shooting, there are two variables that we need to take under consideration. That's the speed and the accuracy. We need to find a perfect balance between both in order to be successful or to survive in an actual situation. We do not need to have a perfect sight alignment each and every time. We can accept some imperfection in order to gain time. Remember, time and speed can be a big factor, especially when you have a close target. When we have a little bit more difficult target or a far target, this is where accuracy turns to a bigger factor. That variables of sign alignment error it's very, very dependent on your sights model. Depends on how thick the front sight is and how open is the rear sight notch. So we need to play an experiment with your own gun and to see in what distance, what kind of result you're going to achieve. We need to take under consideration also that cone of error and the further the target is, 
the greater that error will be. So acceptance of imperfection in the sight alignment, it's very dependent on your sights model and we need to find your solution for your own weapon systems. If we are engaging a difficult target, more precise sight alignment is required and a necessity of a full front sight focus or hard focus is a must. We need to see that alignment precisely. In a classic sight picture, the impact point of the shot will be at the top of the front sight. So the focus is not on the front sight in general, but on the very tip. It needs to be absolutely crisp. The dots are only for quick and general reference in close quarter engagement. Fast focus shift is critical in multiple target engagements, as we will see later. That quick shift, target sights, target sights, we call the focal yo-yo. There is a good news for the shooters using red dot sights. Because the red dot is projected on the same focal plane as the target, you do not need to shift the focus back and simply let it stay on the target. There is a trick that will help shooters using red dots to shoot faster, especially on close range targets. If you see a steady dot, that is like you see a perfect sight picture with perfect sight alignment if using iron sights. As we already know, we do not need perfect alignment at close range, so instead, Observe the streak formed by the dot in recoil or transition and simply time the shot as soon as that streak enters the acceptable margin of error on the target. 